In this video, we will demonstrate how to calculate the pH of a salt solution. And as a reminder, recall that a salt is a, an ionic compound composed of a metal and a non-metal. And the metal with a positive charge could make the solution acidic as long as that metal is not the metal cation of a strong base. For example, uh, the column one metals, sodium, lithium, and so forth, or the heavier column two metals. Remember, these make the strong bases like sodium hydroxide, etc. So a non-metal, which is a negatively charged anion, could make the solution basic as long as the anion is not the conjugate base of a strong acid, like chloride or nitrate. So recall hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and so is nitric acid. So when we actually calculate the pH of this, uh, we will first have to consider whether the conjugates will even affect the pH or not. So if we look at the conjugate bases uh, of weak acids like fluoride or cyanide, that, since hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid, its conjugate base is relatively strong. So this fluoride would act like a base with water, pull a proton off of water, and we would have an equilibrium setup. So we will go ahead and process through this. The key to getting this calculated correctly, uh, in my opinion, there's two steps to that. So if we first write the chemical equation showing the equilibrium, re equilibrium reaction, so we would have the negative ion with water, and then we're not going to find the equilibrium values for the conjugate bases, but we can use the equilibrium constants for the acids and divide that into 10 to the minus 14, which is the equilibrium expression for water, and then calculate the equilibrium expression for the conjugate base. So this would be the conjugate base, and then this would be its acid. So we're going to practice this in two separate instances, where we first look at a 0.12 molar solution of lithium fluoride, and then we'll calculate the pH, and then we'll do the same thing for sodium cyanide. Look first at calculating the pH of a 0.12 molar lithium fluoride solution. If we put only the salt in water, then this will be completely soluble and dissolve into lithium ions and fluoride ions. So the lithium will not affect pH because this is the metal cation of a strong base. So that uh, will not have an effect. Fluoride will have an effect on the pH because it's the conjugate base of a weak acid. So it's the conjugate base of hydrofluoric acid. Okay, so step one, we're going to write the expression of the fluoride ion with water. So I like to write water like this, HOH. And then we're going to have an equilibrium expression. And this negatively charged fluoride ion could pull a proton off of water. And remember, water in the presence of a base will act like an acid and donate a proton. So we'll end up with a bonded molecule of hydrogen fluoride. This is not acidic. This is the intact molecule. And then we, that will leave behind OH minus. And one reason it's good to write the balanced equation is that the charges also have to balance. So anything with a negative charge theoretically could produce the negative hydroxide ion. Okay? And this is a pure aqueous, that's a pure liquid. This is also aqueous, and this is aqueous. So the second step, when we set up our equilibrium expression, well, this is still part of the first step, I guess, uh, the Kb, which we haven't calculated yet, 
is going to equal the intact hydrogen fluoride, the hydroxide ion, which makes the solution basic, divided by the concentration of the fluoride ion. So this turns into an x squared over the concentration of the salt. Okay. And if we look back here, if we had a 0.12 molar solution of lithium fluoride, we're going to have 0.12 molar fluoride ion because this is one to one. Okay. So step two, we have to calculate the equilibrium constant for that. And so that's going to be the equilibrium constant for water over the equilibrium constant for hydro, uh, hydrofluoric acid. So if we look for HF for hydrofluoric acid on the uh, appendix sheet, we see that the acid dissociation constant, or the Ka, is 6.8 times 10 to the minus 4. So for KB, by taking 10 to the minus 14 divided by 6.8 times 10 to the minus 4. And so when we do that, we'll solve for this and then just set that equal to this expression. The concentration of the fluoride ion was 0.12 molar. That has to be given in the problem. And then we'll solve for X. That X is hydroxide. So we got to keep that in mind. If we take the negative log of x, we have to subtract that from 14. So if we just solve for that, that 10 to the minus 14 divided by 6.8 EE negative 4. So our Ka value is 1.47. I'm going to leave that in there. and solve for x. And so now I take this number and multiply by 0.92. And when I do that, then I've got what x squared is equal to. So I'll put the 0.12 over here. And then I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Okay, so I'll take the square root of my second answer. So my hydroxide concentration is 1.3 times 10 to the minus 6. I'm going to take the negative log of this value. And so the pOH is 5.88. So for calculating the pH, we would just subtract that number from 14. So I'm lazy. I'm going to subtract 14 from that number and then ignore the negative sign. So the pH is 8.12. And this should make sense. This is not very basic if we uh, take the strong base that has a pH of 14. So fluoride, which is the conjugate base of a weak acid, will make a salt solution slightly basic. Okay. We're going to keep this number in mind, and we'll do the same example for sodium cyanide. So let's do that. Let's calculate the pH of a 0.12 molar solution of sodium cyanide. So if we think of this, uh, this would also completely dissociate. So there would be no equilibrium set up. We would have sodium ions and cyanide ions. And sodium is the metal conjugate of the strong base sodium hydroxide, so this will not affect pH. This is the conjugate base of hydrocyanic acid. And this is on the equilibrium table, so let's just go ahead and pull that Ka value from that cube there. So that value is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10. That's the dissociation constant or the equilibrium constant for this weak acid. And hydrocyanic acid is considerably weaker than hydrofluoric acid. So that means its base is going to be stronger than fluoride. So the Ka for this will need 
later. I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. So the Ka value for the dissociation of hydrocyanic acid is this. And because it's such a weak acid, its conjugate base is going to be stronger. So when we calculate the pH, it should be greater than 8.12, which is what we got for the fluoride salt. So then let's just do this and compare. So step one, we want to write the expression with water. So the cyanide ion in the presence of water, again, this is a base. It's the conjugate base of this acid. We're introducing it into the water as a salt. But it's still going to pull a proton off of water, and there will be an equilibrium set up, and we'll have the intact HCN molecule. So this is not acidic. This is intact. And we'll leave behind hydroxide. And then if we calculate the KD for this, this is 10 to the minus 14 divided by the Ka for hydrocyanic acid. And that is going to equal x squared over the concentration of the cyanide. And I did not write the equilibrium expression here, but again, the pure liquids would not go into the equilibrium expression, only the aqueous states. So, and one of these makes one of those and one of those. So we get an x squared in the numerator. And this turns into x squared divided by 0.12, and that is equal to this number. So let's go ahead and calculate that. Oops. When I divide that through, I get 2 times 10 to the minus 5th. So this KD value is uh, relatively large. If I solve for x, I get x squared equals this number times 0.12. So I'm going to multiply through. So I'm going to hit times 0.12 and enter that. That's what x squared is. I'm going to take the square root of that. So my hydroxide ion concentration, I take the square root of this, I get 0 0.0015, so forth. I'm going to take the negative log of this answer and subtract it from 14. So here, the pH of this solution is going to be considerably higher. What if I did that right? Because our KB value was substantially higher than the KB value for the hydrofluoric acid, um, this is just to show that it's a stronger base. And if you want to look back at the previous example, the KB for the fluoride ion was 1.4 times 10 to the minus 11. So the fluoride ion is much weaker base than the cyanide ion. 